Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can host our Laravel project without paying anything. And also we are going to learn how we can install SSL certificate in our project to make it secure and we can use it as an HTTPS. So let's see how we can host our Laravel project. For that, I'm going to clone my own Laravel project. So let's copy the link from here. And let's go inside our Laragon. I'm using Laragon. So I'm going to my C drive, Laragon file folder, then WW. And in here, I'm going to open the terminal by typing CMD. And inside the terminal, I'm going to type date, clone, and paste the URL. Enter. So now it's cloning. And it will take around 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, it's done. Now let's open our uh, project in a VS Code. Now, first thing that we have to do is to install our packages. For that, let's open our terminal. And in here, let's type composer and install dash dash op optimize dash auto loader dash dash no dev so in here we don't want all those packages that we need for in development for example we have laravel desk we don't need it for the uh, production we only need it for development and uh, we have fakers these packages we don't need in our production we only need for development purposes so we don't need those ones so we will install all back packages except those so let's press enter the installation has finished let's clear our terminal now in the second step we have to copy our dot env create our dot env so i will copy my dot env dot example and uh, rename this one to dot env and add my database name for example right now laravel testing just uh, for test then after that we have to type php artisan key generate okay the key has been generated successfully let's clear this one also now let's type php artisan migrate enter okay yes create the database this one is also done. Now, install our npm packages. For that, I will type npm install and enter. This one is also done. Let's clear this. Okay, so everything is set. Now, let's open our browser and test our project before deploying. So, let's type Laravel projects dot test. Because I'm using a Laragon, I have to type dot test and the Laragon will take care of the rest. So, as you guys can see, it, everything is working fine in here. I can go to full calendar. I can go to auto suggest. All the links are working fine. Now, let's go and upload our project. So, first of all, let's uh, open a new tab and in here, let's type infinityfree.com. This and enter so let's so in here i already have an account if you don't have an uh, account you have to register first so i will go and click on login and in here i will type my credentials so let's pause the video so after registration and login you will see this page in here you have to uh, you will not see this because these are the projects that, that I already uploaded. So you have to uh, click on create account in here. Let's click here. So, and select the free one. Let's create now. Now you have to type your domain name and choose the domain extension. For example, I will choose .rfig and in here I will say Laravel testing check availability 
Okay, it's good. So it's Laravel testing dot rf dot gd. Now, okay, the email constants. Let's select this approve and create account. So it's done. Sometimes it will take up to seventy two hours to activate, or sometimes it will be within one hour or thirty minutes. It will get activated. So let's click finish. And let's wait until it's done. I will pause the video and when it's done, we will continue. Okay, so just after one minute, my uh, Laravel testing has been activated. So let's go, let's copy this and paste it in, in a new tab. Enter. As you guys can see, it's done. So it's activated. Now let's go to control panel in here okay we have to approve let okay so this is our control panel as you guys can see in your right side in here we have 5 gb and uh, also we have only 5 gb hard disk and the bandwidth is unlimited also, if we scroll down and we also have a limitation in our daily hit. So these are the limitations that we have to take care of them. Now, let's go and download the FileZilla because we need the FileZilla to upload the, our files. So we will go to Google. In here, let's type FileZilla. Enter. Accept. So this one you have to download it. I have already downloaded and installed it. So I am going to use that. If you guys don't have it, you have to download this one. It's free. Let's close this one. This one also. Now in here in our FileZilla, we have to type the host, username, password, and port. So let's open our web browser. And in here, if we scroll down, we can see all the informations are available. So Let's copy the host. Let's copy this from here and paste it in here. Same we will do for username. Now, for the password, you cannot find it inside your control panel. For that, you have to come in your uh, domain settings. And you guys can see in here, we have the password. So you have to click the show hide password and copy this. So let's copy this and paste it inside the password and click quick connect. Now, as you guys can see, all our files are in here. You can access these files also from the uh, your browser by going to file manager in here. So as you guys can see, these are the files which show inside our FileZilla. And in the left side, you have to select your project. So you have to go to your drive C. If you are using ZAM, you have to go to ZAM. So I'm using Laragon. I'm going to Laragon and then WW and my project. So these are the file, my project files and these are my server files. Now let's go. Now let's go to inside our VS code and configure our .env file. So first thing. We have to set our database connection. So let's go to our control panel. In here, let's copy the host name. So this is our host name, MySQL host name, and paste it inside, paste it here. Then we have MySQL username. Let's copy this one also. And paste it inside the username. Then after that, we have to add our password again. So let's go inside here, copy this and paste the password as well. Change this to production app env to production and app debug to false. Now also we have to create our database inside here. So we will go to MySQL database. 
and scroll down create database and here we will give it a name so let's uh, give this name laravel testing and click create database okay the database is set now let this is our database name so let's copy this also copy and paste it inside db database okay i think everything is set now we have to upload our project to the server so let's open the filezilla and let's click our project and inside hd docs in the server let's upload our project so let's drag and drop in in here it will take around 15 or 20 minutes until it's finished so i will pause the video and when it's done we will continue okay the uploading is finished now after the uploading is done then we have to create a new file inside our hd docs uh, folder so i am right now i am inside hd docs folder in here i will right click and select create new file in here i will name it ht access remember that it is very important to name it exactly dot ht access so okay now this file has been created now we will right click again and select view and edit okay it's not working here let's create this file inside our project let's create it in here with the name of dot ht access and paste this code so i will add this code in the comment section also so you guys can copy basically what it does it will when a request come it will redirect it to our laravel project with the, which is the name of this folder and to the public folder now let's save this let's go back let's delete this ht access from here delete now inside our let's add it from our project let's refresh here it is okay so everything is set now let's go to our browser and test our project that see if it's running or not so let's copy this and open a new tab paste it in here let's press enter yeah as you guys can see it's working now if i go to for example full cal calendar as you guys can see it's working but I, we have not uploaded our database yet so if i go to crud i get an error so if, if you get an error yeah, and uh, your app debug is false you will see this message so let's go uh, to our file manager inside our hd docs then our project and inside the here let's uh, right click and select edit make this for true and one more place we have to change that we have to come to control panel then scroll down until you find alter php config in here click this then also alter php directive and by default it's off so we have to change it to on then click alter now let's go okay in here as you guys can see we i get the error in the title but in here maybe browser problem it's not showing the error so let's uh, go and upload our database for that i will open my mysql workbench then i will go to server data export and in here i will select my database for example laravel testing then export to self content file and choose the location for example i will choose the desktop and name it for example bbb save then export progress and start export so it's done
Now back to my browser and inside my Infinity Free account, I will select, scroll down MySQL database, then PHP my admin, and from the top import, then I will choose my file. Open and go. So it's imported successfully. Now if I go back here and refresh, as you guys can see, it loads my products page also. So this is how we can upload our database in Infinity Free. Now everything is set. Only one thing is left that right now our Laravel project is not secure. It's running on HTTP, not HTTPS. So let's see how we can install an SSL certificate for free. So for that, let's go to back to our control panel. Let's close these tabs. Right now we don't need it. So in here, in, if you scroll up back, you will see free SSL certificates. In here, let's click this one. Now let's scroll down new SSL certificate. And in here, it will ask us for our domain name. So let's copy this. and paste it here let's uh, click create order okay let's delete these again click create order okay now it says your ssl certificate or has been created please see below so now let's go scroll down and in the current destination, as you guys can see, it says it's not ready. So it will take around uh, some time until it's done. Now let's wait until it's finished completely. It will take some time. So it's uh, done. Now we have to only click the setup CNAME record. So let's click here. So it's done. Everything is set. It will take around one hour or uh, less to activate so let's uh, we will continue back after one hour and see if it's working or not okay so after uh, just 15 minutes the ssl certificate has been activated so if i refer it as you guys can see it's ready now i have to cl uh, collect request certificate and it's done it will also after this it will also take some little time until it installs to our domain then we can use it so let's pause the video until this one is finished so our uh, install ssl installation is finished now i can select to con install automatically okay everything is set the ssl certificate has been installed it may take up to 15 minutes to become active so it's done now uh, if i refresh Okay, let's come after 15 minutes to check the next steps. So after uh, just 10 minutes, the SSL certificate has been activated. So everything is installed and we can use it. I'll, and if you guys can check in the status, we can see SSL certificate is activated. Now, if we go to our inside our project, refresh and type here, HTTPS colon slash slash as you guys can see our, my project loads with the https now let's see how we can force our laravel application to change all the requests to https for example right now if i use a type http it will also load and if type http it will also load but we want to our project to force all the requests to https so let's go inside our project Let's uh, go inside our app providers and app service provider inside here and inside our boot method. In here, we will add this code that will force all the requests to be HTTPS. Let's save this. Now let's go to our FileZilla and also inside our app, then providers 
and upload this app service provider. Let's go to here also app providers and app service provider. Let's upload this. Yes, overwrite. Okay, now let's go to our uh, project. Now let's press enter. Okay, it's the cache problem. Ah, as you guys can see now, it automatically changed it to HTTPS. Let's remove the S and enter again. Okay, it's not secure. Now, as you guys can see, it's uh, change. it will change it to HTTPS. It will take around some time to always make it HTTPS because of the cache. Right now, as you guys can see, it gives page like this. But in the second time, it will working so this is how we can uh, install the SSL certificate in our domain so hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the video and if you have any questions write it down in the comment and don't forget to press the subscribe button see you guys in the next video